you said that you didn't write anything down. <laughs> How did you come to what you were going to say? And, and uh, tell us about your decision to, to express your forgiveness. I didn't write anything down. I tried many times to put words on paper about what I was going to say, but it, it's difficult to write down everything that is going through your mind in the last two and a half, almost three years now. So I knew that I was going to have to get up there and face the judge, and then it would come to me, and then it did. And that, it came from my heart. So thankfully, it, it came out the right way. You can can you care? Paraphrase what you did say since we didn't have cameras on you at that time. What, what, what was your message in the courtroom? My message was I wanted to let Trenton know that I forgave him and that Blake forgave him and that God forgives him. But because we forgive him does not mean that we won't forget what he has done and the impact that his actions that day have caused on our family. Um, I wanted him to always remember what he did, always remember Blake's face, and remember the future that he yanked away from us. How did you get to that place of forgiveness in your heart? Um, my forgiveness and the strength from that comes from my faith. Um, I have held on to my faith and my trust in God as hard as I could this last two and a half years. And thankfully with his strength, he gave me the strength to forgive because he God says we, we have to forgive in order to live a happy life. So I have chosen to forgive him. It was very difficult. It's, that does not mean it was easy, but it's the right thing to do.